Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. My name is Jacqueline, and on this channel, I do everything budget-related. If those sort of videos interest you, please consider subscribing. In this video today, we're going to be doing my weekly check-in number two for the month of August. But before we get started with my video, I do want to open up my sparkling water. Today, I have a pineapple from Trader Joe's. So I'm going to go ahead and crack this open. And then we're going to start um, laying down my stickers. Ah, that is so cold. It tastes so good. For those that are new, I do use the Plum Paper Monthly Planner. So I'm going to open up to my August spread. I do use stickers to lay down my budget and this is my August spread. It is so adorable. Um, it's bees. Bees and little clouds with rain and little flowers. Alright, so we're going to be checking in today from August 8th until the 14th. And for those that are new or not, I do use the Budget by Paycheck Workbook from The Budget Mom. This is where I track all of my spending. I also track my budget in here and my checking account. So I'm going to keep this off to the side. That way I know what days to lay down my stickers. But I do want to show you guys how I keep track of my spending. Okay, so this is this past week's spending. I basically write everything down and then I color coordinate it based on the categories. So that is how I keep track of my spending. Okay, so this week I had no money for my eating out, but I still ate out <laughs> literally every day but one day. So I'm not even going to talk about that. I'm just going to go ahead and lay down these stickers and pull the money from my miscellaneous. <laughs> so I went to have pizza on a Monday. I will tell you guys what I ate this week. It was kind of bad, but ugh, whatever. Just... I, my mind is on so many things right now that I just don't have the mentality to meal prep or just bring lunch. But I'm going to try my best to do that this week. But we shall see because I did go food shopping, but I don't have like lunch items. So tomorrow is Monday and I'm probably going to eat out this day and maybe I'll go to Trader Joe's and buy some stuff for the week. And then on Tuesday, I had a salad I could eat at work, but it was just such a horrible day the day before. And Tuesday was just kind of like a replica, but not as bad. And I spent $17.28 at Chili's and I got a salad and a corn on the cob. Wednesday was a day that I actually ate the salad that I was going to eat the day before at work. So I didn't eat out that day. But I did eat out on the 11th. I went to Chick fil A. I spent $10.20. And then on Friday, I got pizza again. And I was going to use this from my, um, my next cash stuffing, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take it out from my miscellaneous this week and start fresh for my next cash stuffing, which is going to be after this video. I have to record two more videos. Okay, so the next one is going to be Compra. I went to Trader Joe's on the 8th and I spent a total of $81.75. And then I went to Trader Joe's again. And this time, I was just going to get some eggs and a few snacks. Well, I walked out of there paying $48.00. <laughs> any sense so i went completely over budget for my compra this week crazy and i got gas on the 11th gas has gone down here which is great i think i paid three f oh man um this sticker is not coming off i'll put it on the screen here i have to look at look for my receipt but I think I paid, um, what's the, was that? That was on the 11th. You know what? Let me get my receipt because I want to tell you guys how much it was. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time, God. 
Okay, I can't find the receipt. It must be in my car somewhere. But anyway, I think it was 341. Either 351 or 41. Either way, it was uh, $42 to fill up my tank. We had one sinking funds transaction this week, and that was on the 9th. I ended up buying a new savings challenge. I've been favoring this for a long, long time, and it finally was on sale, so I went ahead and just bought it. And that was eleven eighteen. Now I'm going to lay down my no spends. Okay, now that I've laid down my stickers and my no spends, we're gonna start um, calculating my spending and we're gonna put it in my weekly check-in. First category is going to be eating out. So that's a total of 48.56. I'm gonna round this up to 49. Next is going to be gas, and I spent a total of $42. So compra is next, and I have two transactions. The first one was for $81.75, and then $48.08. So I spent a total of $129.83. I'm just going to round this up to $130. So that is my weekly check-in. I have overspent in compra by $64 and then by $49 on eating out. Eating out, I had no money, but I did spend that much. And then compra, I had 66 and I went over by 64. So now I'm gonna open up to the page where I have all of my spending laid out and we're gonna start to unstuff my envelopes. Okay, so let's start with my cash envelopes from my wallet eating out has nothing so we're going to just skip that for a second this is a pay week so spending i'm going to take out and we're going to roll this over for my savings challenges let's just count to see how much i'm going to have for my saving challenges so that's 20 30 45 55 56 57 58 59 60 and 61 so i'm just going to put this back here Okay, compra, I spent a total of 130. So I have here 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, and 66. So I am short that I think it was um, 130 minus 66. I'm short $64. So I'm gonna just pull that. I'm just gonna put this in parentheses. That way I know how much to pull from my miscellaneous. Gas is next. And gas, I need to take out 42. So that's 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 1, and 42. So gas has 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which I'm going to roll this over to savings challenges. All right, so that is it for my cash envelopes, and these are ready to get stuff for the next week over the next two weeks. Okay, so let's just take out, it was gonna be 49 plus 64. So I need to take out $113 from my miscellaneous envelope, which is right here. It's 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110. I'm 
just looking for the jankiest bills. <laughs> Okay, so that's 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 11, 12, 13. So miscellaneous now has 5, 10, 15, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 31, 2. Now I'm going to pull out $11 from my support of friends. So that's 5, 10, 11. Supporter friend has 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, that is it for my cash and stuffing. Now we're going to go ahead and tally this up and see how much I should have here. I should have a total of $232. So let's just make sure that I did this correct. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, and 10, 20, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. All right, that is correct. $232 is going back to my bank so I can pay my credit card. So I'm going to cash stuff this in my Fidelity envelope, which I actually have not gone for my last cash on stuffing. I know very bad, <laughs> but I'm going to go to the bank tomorrow for sure. Last week was just really hectic at work. So, all right, we're going to cash stuff that. Okay, so let's just now see how much we are going to be saving for my savings challenges for this on stuffing. So we have 20, 30, 45, 55, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 71, 2, 3. All right, so we have $73. That is not bad. Considering I did go over my spending, I did not want to penalize um, my savings challenges. So I just had to take it from another envelope. All right, so that is it, you guys. This is the end of my weekly check-in number two. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, go ahead and leave a... Uh, a sunshine emoji that way you made it this far and if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing i am having a giveaway at 1500 and you guys take care and i'll see you on my next one bye